Hey, yeah. If you don't know, now you know. It's the Ask Racing Show. Welcome to the Ask Racing Show. For our 10th and final season, we are online and worldwide. I'm your announcer, Kreas. On behalf of Team Racing Productions, it is my pleasure to thank our sponsors, including DC Homas and AHF Pharmacy. For more information about our sponsors, guests, Team Racing Productions, and more, you can follow the links in the description below. It is now time to introduce our host for this evening. The High Priestess of Love, the Queen of the Shameless Plug, the Empress of Pride, the Goddess of DC, the iconic, the legendary, Racine Pendarvis! Mm. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Racing Pentapis. Oh, it's springtime and it's all about newness. So this year I've decided to get rid of the turban and let my hair loose. I've locked it, it's free. I'm a silver fox and a cougar. Ow! And I'm looking and I'm on the prowl for something young, something fun, and make sure you have good credit. <laughs> Yes, honey, because it's cougar time and I'm out to pray. So remember, there are three rules to be a cougar. One, always remember to pet the cub. Two, feed the cub. And three, release the club back into the wild. Those are the three rules of being a cougar. And if you are failing at being a cougar, shame on you. Wow. First up is the Helen Hayes award-winning actor whose album is available now, my dear friend, the one, the only, Roz White. I am excited to be back with you all for the 10th and final season of the Ask Racine Show. Enjoy. All right now, time to have a little fun with the blues. You know, you're always going to get a story with the blues. So listen to my story. And it goes a little something like this. Listen, if you see my one-eyed man, please send him home. If you see my one-eyed man, please send him home. I ain't had a peaceful night since my one-eyed man's been gone. Now when I had that one-eyed man, I didn't know just what I had. Ah, see when I had that one-eyed man, I didn't know just what I had. Uh-uh, y'all. I used to treat him oh so mean. I used to treat him oh so bad. Mm, let me tell you what I did. I used to love to pick a fight just to see that one-eyed man cry. Yeah, I did. I used to love to pick a fight just to see that one-eyed man cry. Mm. I used to think it was so funny to see him crying out one eye. <laughs> but wait a minute. One thing I can say about him that one-eyed man looked out for me. Yes, he did. One thing I can say about him, that one-eyed man sure looked out for me. He didn't believe none of what he heard and only half of what he see. But wait a minute. One day, my one-eyed man, when he found himself a one-legged girl, can you believe it? 
One day my one-eyed man went and found himself a one-legged girl. Child, that I might not mean too much to you, but that thing really rocked my world. <laughs> now I don't get mad, I get even, and I'm too mean to cry. Well, I don't get mad, I get even, and I'm too mean to cry. Yes, I am. So one day I caught the two of them together and I closed his other eye. Hmm. Now that one leg girl swung her crutch at me and she was about six feet tall. Ooh, that's a big old thing. That one leg girl swung her crutch at me and she was about six feet tall. Well, I did a couple of my good moves and now she ain't got no legs at all. Uh-huh. But listen, now everybody's wondering what the two of them are gonna do to me. <laughs> really? <laughs> All of my friends keep on wondering what the two of them are gonna do to me. <laughs> Let me tell you, I ain't worried. No. <laughs> Cause he can't run and she can't see. in there. Come on and dance. It ain't nothing but the blues, y'all. Yeah. Hey. All right now. Yeah. I ain't worried. No, no, no. My friends are wondering what the two of them are going to do to me. Really? Oh, my friends are wondering what the two of them are going to do to me. Listen, I ain't worried. No, no, I ain't worried. No, I ain't worried. No, why? Because she can't run and he can't see. no regrets I still believe in chasing dreams and placing bets for I have learned that all you give is all you get so give it all you got I've had my share, I drank my fill And even though I'm satisfied I'm hungry still To see what's down another road Beyond the hill And do it all again So here's to life and every joy it brings. Yes, here's to life to dreamers and their dreams. Tomorrow 
takes away As long as I'm still in the game I wanna play For laughs, for life, for love And here's to life
It's like a dream to call to mind My heart's a lighter thing Since you have made this night a thing divine In a sentimental mood In a sentimental mood I'm with the world so heavenly I never dreamed that you loving Congratulations on 10 years of the Ask Racine Show. Racine, I know the next chapter for you will be even better. Remember, may all your storms be weathered and all that's good get better. Here's to life. He's to love, he's to you. I love you. Thanks, Ross. Oh, fabulous. So Racine, our last Ask Racine mini ball was set for April 7th, 2021, this year. And sadly, like last year, you know, we had to cancel the mini ball. So that means the 2019 edition was actually the final edition. What do you remember about that one? It was amazing. It was wonderful. We had a great time. We had celebrity judges. We had fabulous ballroom mm -hmm. icons, and we had old school and new school, and the kids were da -da 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 all over the place, and they were giving it, life. giving it, and working it. <laughs> and you know, as fun as that was, you know, I have to thank we have to thank DJ Suspense um, for being there. DJ Suspense DJ the first one in 2015. Oh my God! Yes, and for the final four years, we had the late, great, legendary, iconic DJ Juan Alor with us serving for the children at the mini ball. Any words about DJ Juan Alor? Oh my God! He was one of the most gracious and wonderful and giving persons that you could ever come across. He was a ballroom icon. He was an activist. He was a worldwide, international DJ. And whenever I would call and I say, Juan, I need you, he would give his time freely. Yes. And he would be there and he would just enjoy it. And he was in the midst of love because he was giving love. And I know he's now uh, a part of the ballroom runway in heaven. And he is hitting beats and Octavia, Avis, mm -hmm. Paris, mm -hmm. Dorian, mm -hmm. Peppa, children. you know, all of them are walking the runway and they are in ballroom heaven. Yes, let's have a moment of silence for DJ One.
Thank you. Ashe. Well, Racine, it has been a year since we put on a big public event with a crowd, with an audience, you know. And the last time, of course, was our ninth and penultimate season premiere of the Ask Racine show. Oh my God. Honey, what a year it has been. Mm, what a year, what a year, what a year. But something great about 2020 was our Ask Racine show. 2020 Poet Laureate, and we're so pleased to welcome her back here to the Ask Racine Show, the one, the only, Poet Ray Monet. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I have a little poem that is for our wonderful friend Racine, um, celebrating 10 years years doing the Ask Racine show. So check this one out. Racine, our queen. For the last decade, she has reigned supreme, bringing the kingdom the likes of the Ask Racine show, entertaining us all with culture, politics, and more. You know, there's something about her that comforts us all. Somehow she feels like all of our cousin, our auntie, sister, mom, <laughs> and how happy we are that over the years, the queen of the shameless plug, Miss Racine Pendarvis, has kept us all here, entertained us all in many locations, the MLK Library, the HRC, and who could forget all that fun on U Street? <laughs> And although the Ask Racine show was not the only thing that she produced, it is the nearest to our hearts and creates the warmth in the room. Because when she enters, all must rise to their feet, not only as if she was royalty, but like it was a courtroom. But don't speak too soon. You'll be sentenced to death while you gag and collapse on all of her fabulousness. Because we all know that nothing is more beautiful than living an authentic life. And for the last 10 years, Racine has hosted a monthly masterclass to show us how to do it right. So no matter where you are, at home or overseas, watching on Facebook, IG, or YouTube TV, stand your ass up and clap those hands and give that diva her flowers while we still can. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me, friends. I'm Poet Ray Monet. Racing, just like the Ask Racing show, there are quite a few TV shows celebrating their last year this year. End of the run, honey. So some of these, some of these, let me pull it up, include Black Lightning, The Bold Side, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Clouds, I'm sure as a cougar, you know about that girl. Yes. <laughs> Conan, Dear White People, Grace and Frankie, The Haves and the Have Nots, Insecure, Judge Judy, Mom, Pose. Ugh, that's a loss. The Kardashians are out. Queen of the South, Shameless, Supergirl, and Superstore. Do you know the difference between those shows? Yes. And this one. Yeah. Oh, tell me, tell me. Yes. What is it? A budget. <laughs> A budget, honey. A budget. A budget. That's funny. However, 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 um, speaking of budgets, we want so much to just give a shout out to all those who have supported us, those who have volunteered, those who donated, and those who have attended the Ask Racing Show over the years. Wow. It's so amazing and so wonderful that people took the time to believe in a project. When I started this project, I wanted to create something that was a safe space. I wanted to create something that was inviting for everyone, that we could bring our allies together, we could bring uh, our community together, we could bring non-believers together, all colors together, and just a space that would celebrate creativity, love, peace, harmony, joy, and it did. It did everything that I wanted it to do. And I just want to say thank you all for believing in us, Team Racine, all of the entities that came together that were a part of Team Racine, that believed in what we were doing each and every time. Oh, 
Hi, Oh, I love this new Team Mercy mask. How do I look? Fabulous. Oh, and viewers, you can look fabulous too. For a donation of just ten dollars, you can get the exclusive Team Racing Productions face mask. All you've got to do is send an email to teamracing at gmail.com. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> Tell us what's up next. Up next is someone who you may recognize from the Team Racing YouTube channel. Lo, the author. Cheers, everyone. And thanks, Racine and Krilios, for inviting me on. And welcome to my boudoir. I'm Lo, the author, the author of To All the Places I've Had Sex Before. And I want you all to sit back, take a sip, maybe, and give it a little bit of a listen. Let's get to it. Black sexuality has long filled stereotypes against black women. Tropes of Jezebels, vixens, single mothers being too fast and getting too thick were not just the themes of the media that raised me, but were also pervasive in all aspects of my life. It echoed in the whisperings of grown folks talk to who we avoided at church to who was ta talked badly about at school. Whether a woman was deemed to be respectable or not often came down to her reputation, AKA the public representation of her sexuality. It didn't matter what she actually did with her partners. What mattered was what other people thought she did. I became aware of this at a very young age. From the time I was young, sex ran my life. I was obsessed with doing things I wasn't supposed to be doing, and I was a curious child. I was, oh, why, child? And I promise you my parents are saints because they weren't so annoyed with me that they dulled my sense of curiosity. That tends to happen to so many of us why children. But even if they didn't outright deny my curiosity, I still knew there were things I was allowed to be curious about and things that I wasn't. This was a perfect setup for me to learn how to put on a facade. I learned how to code switch between who I was supposed to be at any given time in front of any given person and then living up to that. Not every person needs to know the whole of you, but compartmentalizing to the point of dishonesty can ruin you. The importance of secrecy in my youth meant that I didn't talk to other folks in depth about my sexual experiences. Occasionally, the discussion would arise with friends as something else to giggle about, but mostly I thought sex was a physical, pleasurable secret that was only between me and the people who I was experimenting with. That is, that it was something simple, like farting or taking gay shit, and something that everyone did but nobody talked about. Years later, I discovered sex was something that could affect your entire well-being, your entire outlook on life, and your spectrum of relationships with others. And so, I ascribed myself to the label of sexually free. I knew it was a reality that I liked to have sex and be touched in intimate ways. I surrounded myself with other people who were sex positive and my progressive values reinforced the fact that this was okay. Yet, it was all still on the surface level. Sex positivity, slut walks. I enjoyed and found value in these things, but I hadn't yet been serious about thinking what sexuality actually meant for me. Everything was still so surface level. I wanted to go deeper. It's not just me who doesn't feel like they have a space to talk about sex at a deeper level. I, like many others, have been navigating layers of trauma without the vocabulary to articulate what was happening or how I was feeling. A dullness lurks within when I don't have the language to express what I'm experiencing. That language came to me in the form of sexual liberation. 
Rather than focusing on being free and having my sexual identity being tied and doing what I want to do because I want to do it, I started to wonder what it would mean to be sexually liberated, to think of my se sexual agency in the context of my relationship with others and society. What could it mean for me to contextualize my experience with my history and culture rather than acting without understanding why I am doing so? I want to deconstruct my reality and figure out what it is I actually believe. Why do I still have this nagging feeling every time I have sex that resembles shame? Why is it that I have sex when I am feeling upset? I want to better understand the sexual rules I am breaking and how they might be affecting me, if they are at all. So that is an excerpt of my book. For the rest of it, you're going to have to need to get your own copy. Okay, so you can find all the places I've had sex before on Amazon. If you don't like Amazon, because fair, you can buy it directly from me on my website, lowtheauthor.com. That's L-A-U-X, theauthor.com. And that is the end of my shameless plug. So again, congratulations to Racine Pendarvis for the last 10 years of the Ask Bracing Show. Congratulations and thanks for having me. I'm here with the East of the River correspondent, our dear friend, Monique. Hey, Racine. It is so nice to see you. I'm so glad to be back and in person. This is awesome. How you been? I've been wonderful. It's good to see you. And we are so excited for all the things you've done over the years. Oh, you know, it has been my pleasure. It has been truly a learning experience for me. And I love you guys. And we love you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, speaking of which, where's Curious? Where's Curious? You couldn't start this party without me. Hey. I brought some April cake. Ooh, yes. Celebrating our 10th and final season. Child, this cake is everything. Mmm, I am living for it. Yeah, it's so chocolatey and moist. Mmm, moist. Speaking of which, What's the next segment? Oh, let me tell you. We have Burlesque by Lottie Ellington. Get into it. And remember to tip the performers using their cash app. And send your donations to support the Ask Racine show by using cash tag Ask Racine. I tore her well. <laughs> so did it. Ah! Now look at you walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you could just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Show this up, Poet.
trying to have some fun tonight, you just gotta follow these simple instructions. You ready? You need to activate your sex. Activate your sex. Silky smooth and snap. Silky smooth and snap. Now lean with it. Lean. Throw a little sheen in it. Sheen. Then pat, 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 till it's flat. One more time, you need to activate your sex. Activate your sex. Silky smooth and snap. You gotta relax. Ooh. Ooh, let me show you what you got to do. You gotta lay it back. Matter of fact, bang, show how to lay it back. Uh. Show how to lay it back. Show how to lay it back now. Ow. Show how to lay it back right now. Alright. Hello, Racing. Congratulations on 10 years of the Ask Racine show. I had an absolutely amazing time when I performed in September of 2019, and I'm so looking forward to all of the things that you're going to be doing in the future. Hopefully, in 2022, I can get back to D.C. to visit, or you can come to Detroit and hang out with me. All the love, all the kisses. Cheers. Child. Girl, Lottie was giving. Ooh, Lottie was everything. Lottie with the body. Thank you, Lottie. And baby, I have been to Lottie. I haven't been to the Motor City since they kicked me out the Supreme. Oh, baby. I'm so excited to announce that we have won an award. Monique, bring us the pack. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness, and it's purple, my favorite. <laughs> it reads, Gamma Xi Phi presents the 2020 Bruce Hawkins Prize for excellence in the arts and justice to Team Racine for outstanding achievement in diverse and inclusive community programming that connects artists to an international audience despite the global pandemic. With gratitude from the Gamma Xi Phi National Board of Trustees. Oh, so lovely. Isn't that amazing? That's so wonderful. And I thank them so much, one, for thinking enough of us. When I think of myself, Racy, you don't, understand the work it takes to get here. It takes a team behind me to do everything that we do. And that team is Team Racine. And I thank them for all that they do. And I thank each and every one of them from the heart. Thanks for joining us today, Monique. It has been such a pleasure getting to see you again in real life and, you know, being here with us. Oh my goodness, it's been wonderful. Don't we feel like the dream girls? Ooh, <laughs> yes, and you're feeling my Laurel fantasy. Yes. <laughs> and you viewers can join us next time on Cinco de Mayo. Adios. We will be back monthly on first Wednesdays through November for the 10th and final season of the Ask Racine Show. New episodes will premiere at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Please join us for our next date, May 5th. Until then, wear a mask when you go out, stay home when you can, wash your hands often, and eat some cake. Thank you yeah. for watching. Nothing but the blues, y'all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Listen. So we bought it 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 
Sweeta Dia Aha Semben den 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 u Semben den 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 u Ah Eh Blues y'all So bum do di 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 So rum do di da Yeah, so we can not do that. So we can not do that, do that. Oh, yeah. Nothing but the blues, y'all. Nothing but the blues. Nothing but the blues, y'all. Nothing but the blues. Nothing but the blues.